In the beginning, God created man in his image. My parents came to Canada from England in 1958. I was born a Canadian to white parents that were middle class, who were Protestant. That is my origins. I tell you this so you know from which lens I see the world. I see the world as a very fortunate person who has never been afraid or scared or hurt, who can trust the police and knows they will protect her. The first time I saw an Aboriginal person was when I was in grade one. They came to our school to do their, to do their dance. It was beautiful and awe-inspiring to listen to the music, the drumming. In grade four, I remember doing social studies on Native people. We learned about longhouses and teepees. We didn't learn about residential schools or abuse. When I was in grade two, my dad had a run-in at the border to the United States. He was so frustrated that he said he'd never go there again. And I never once in my life ever heard him say something positive about those darn Yankees, or Yanks as he called them. I first met an Asian family in grade six. Their son Tony was in my class. We rode the bus. After university, I met Kosar. She used to tease me by pointing to a man wearing a turban, and she says, there's my dad. And I'd look and, see, and not see anybody. And she'd laugh and say, I'm just joking. My dad's not a Sikh. We're Muslim. Each one of these experiences and many more, even the first time I was teased for being overweight, have impacted my life. When I go over the examples that were given, there was no dislike or hatred of anyone, of any group or any race. It's more my own discomfort about not knowing how to talk to them, from my lack of experience of Martin Niemeyer. He's a German Christian pastor who was anti-Semitic and supported Hitler. Until one day, he found himself in a concentration camp. And he writes this, They came for the socialists, and I did not speak up, because I was not a socialist. They came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak up, because I was not a trade unionist. They came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I am not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak. He writes this about his poem, that as a Christian, I must conduct myself not according to my sympathies or antipathies, but rather I must look at them through the lens of Jesus Christ, I must see each human being, even if they are against me, as a child of God. To see them as someone that Christ would have died for, just as he died for me. And when we look at the world this way, when we look at each other this way, there is simply no way through any form of rejection or action can we take against another race or religion or skin color. We are all God's children. We are all created as equals. Let us treat each other as that and if not better. Treat one another as we would like to be treated. Love one another, do good for one another. And we pray, gracious God, that you look into each of our hearts, and that you create in each of us a new, clean heart, where we see only Christ's face in others. We only see the face of our Creator. We ask this in your name.